Welcome back to Project Elements. I'm sure at this point you're asking, why is there another video in this series? There were four elements and we thought we were done. We're taking souls from the world, element number one, taking them to Sabbath school, element number two. We're giving them more food with the gospel workers, element number three. And now we've joined them to the church. That's element number four. It's all done. What more is there in this plan? Well, I'm going to tell you that even if you follow this plan exactly, there's no actual power in it. Wait a second, then why did we study all these things until now? Well, because in order to have power, you have to close the circuit. There is a relationship that the church has with the gospel workers that we need to understand if we really want Project Element to be successful. The first thing that the church has to do is find new workers. In Fundamentals of Christian Education, page 488, it says time is short. Workers for Christ are needed everywhere. There should be 100 earnest, faithful laborers in home and foreign mission fields where now there is one. The highways and the byways are yet unworked. Urgent inducements should be held out to those who ought now to be engaged in missionary work for the master. So pay attention. Your work, once you've brought somebody into the church, is not done. Now the church has another work that it needs to do. It now needs to find new gospel workers. It's interesting that in some places, when you look at the history of the work, you'll notice that it progressed for some time and then suddenly went away. And as I was doing my own research, I discovered that in most of these places, what happened was that their worker was not replaced. He did all the work. He did a great work. He was a great evangelist. He taught, he fed, he baptized. But the one thing he didn't do was replace himself. And that's part of Project Element, the relationship between the church and the gospel workers. So while gospel workers are bringing souls into the church, the church must be finding new gospel workers. Your church should constantly be making the invitation to those who are in the congregation to accept the call to enter into the gospel work. We need to find new workers. But that's not enough. We can find workers. But what's the point of saying to somebody, do you want to be a worker in the Lord's vineyard? And they're like, yes, I want to be a worker in the Lord's vineyard. Like, okay, I'm sending you to this place. And we send them over there and they don't have success. Why don't they have success? It's because it's not enough to find them. You also have to train them. Education page 271 says, with such an army of workers as our youth, rightly trained might furnish how soon the message of a crucified, risen, and soon coming Savior might be carried to the whole world. So you understand, it's not enough for us to find workers. We also have to train them. It doesn't just say an army of young workers. It says an army of young workers rightly trained is what we need. So you should be supporting the educational work of the church. The missionary schools that are around in your area should receive your support. You should be encouraging young people to enter into the work and to go to missionary schools so that they can be trained to be effective gospel workers. So now we understand that the relationship between the church and the gospel workers begins to fulfill this need of power within Project Element. We're beginning to close the circuit here by taking young men and women and encouraging them to enter into the mission work and then sending them to missionary school in order to be rightly trained for this work. There's one other point that I can't neglect to mention, and that is that these gospel workers, they have to be fed. You have to find them, you have to train them, but you also have to feed them. Luke chapter 10 verse 7 says that a laborer is worthy of his hire. And so it is also important that we financially sustain the workers that God has put in our path. And that means that a faithful returning of the tithe is part of the mission work because it is from that tithe that the gospel workers are sustained. 
a laborer is worthy of his hire. Now, the church prepares new gospel workers, and these new gospel workers can fulfill the mission that God has in this great plan, which we call Project Element.